<laughs> I ain't licked yet. I activate Time Wizard. Time Roulette, go! Welcome to Retro Rivals, a new Yu-Gi-Oh! series where we duel with the recently re-released Yu-Gi-Oh! Retro Pack. It's full of all the best cards from Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Golden Age, complete with the iconic anime monsters and powerful staples of all different rarities. Every week, we'll each open a new Retro Pack mini box that's four packs and use the cards inside to craft our own decks. That also means our decks will get stronger every week, from awkward strategies to custom-built powerhouses. The first duel to take five rounds is the winner. We know you guys loved my Joey cards, so we went ahead and got the Joey Wheeler Time Wizard shirt off of the Shonen Jump site. It's actually based off the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga. So if you love Joey as much as I do, go ahead and check it out. All right, time to bust open this retro pack. All right, four, let's see if we can pull a secret. And maybe not another copy of Copycat, you know? All right, we have Luminous Spark, Flying Kamakiri number one, UFO Turtle, Black Illusion Ritual, I got enough of these, and the right arm of the Forbidden One. Gotta love it, Exodia. The Forbidden Mater Bug is cool. We got another Twin Headed Thunder Dragon and a Thunder Dragon Trap Hole is nice. All right, so I'm happy with the uh, the commons in that pack. I find if I don't pull like a good hollow, then the commons will usually carry me. Shining Angel, one of my favorite cards now. Manga Ryuran, Gaia Power, Umiruka, Penguin Soldier. That's my third Penguin Soldier? It's a lot of penguins. I support it, it's still a good hollow. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, Baby Dragon, Curse of Dragon, and another Trap Hole. M maybe we run three Trap Hole this time, you know? M maybe that's what we do. Third pack. Nimble Momonga, Giant True Nade, which is a good removal for one turn at least. Mother Grizzly, Send You the Thousand Hands. I think this will get put me to three now. So that's actually great. Ooh, Secret Rare Exchange of the Spirit. So I have to pay a thousand life points while there are 15 or more cards in the graveyard. Both players swap the cards in their graveyards with the cards in their deck, then shuffle the cards in, and that becomes their new deck. So essentially, we swap our graveyards with our decks. I mean, I'm gonna play it because it's crazy, but it can make this duel like like come to a screeching halt. We have we have a lot of draw power in these decks. If we end up with 15 card decks, that would be hilarious. So I'm gonna run it. <laughs> We got the Mariner Bug, Guy the Fierce Knight, Magic Jammer, and Hane Hane. I still like my commons. I, I think these are all great commons. We have Manga Ryuran, Giant True Nade, Sonic Bird, Mystic Tomato, Solemn Judgment, my guy. Yeah, you're going to the deck too. This might be a trap heavy game for me. We'll have to see. Seven Tools of the Bandit, a great counter trap. Gravekeeper's Servant, Elegant Egotist, Armed Ninja. Ooh, yeah, you know, this, this, was, a, this was a good week. This was a good week. All right, so more retro pack. Another day, another retro pack, you could say. Last time I was playing tunes because I finally got all of the tune cards that I needed. Uh, this time I don't know if I will be continuing that strategy, but I am still looking for another Nimble Momonga. And I think at this point, man, just a new secret would be cool. I don't think my deck needs too much more. All right, here we go. Gaia Power, Mother Grizzly, Upstart Goblin, Tune World, and ooh, super rare off the gate, up top of the gate, Lejin, the mystical genie of the lamp. So here's an 1800 beater, which as I said before, and I think a previous episode, this makes a difference. There are so many like 1500 and 1400 attack point monsters in this format that having an 1800 beater, it's, it's a big deal. It honestly is a big deal. So definitely can use that. Sadly, not searchable, but still really cool. Armed Ninja, this is actually something I've been like considering using. It can pop a spell card. It doesn't come up that much. I mean, Alec has like swords of revealing light. That's really it. I can maybe hit a face down MST, but I don't know. Flip effect monsters are a bit slow. Giant Soldier Stone, Cannon Soldier, and Guy the Fierce Knight. Awesome, not too shabby. Toon Mermaid, Mother Grizzly again. Sinju, this would be great if I could ever get a Relinquish myself. Giant Germ, Right Arm of the Forbidden One. I swear we are going to have Exodia before the series is over. Thunder Dragon, Giant Soldier Stone, Flame Swordsman, and Curse of Dragon. Well, it's been another one of these episodes where like I only get like one random super and then that's like it. It's all my foils and Alec gets like three ultras in his pack. 
Max, because I swear if it happens again. All right, Rising Air Current, Giant Germ, Toon Mermaid, Mystic Tomato, <gasps> a secret rare, cloning. Interesting, I didn't know this was in the set. So activate only when your opponent normal or flip summons a monster. Special summon a clone token that has the same original level type, attribute, attack, and defense as the summon monster. When that monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, it destroy this token. So this is kind of an interesting thing. It can copy a monster's attack. It's sort of similar to Alex copycat in that way. Though I would argue maybe not quite as versatile. Depends. I can certainly find a use for this. And I, I've been looking for a new secret rare just in the set in general. So I'll certainly take this. I believe Kaiba uses this card. Giant Soldier, Cannon Soldier, Curse of Dragon, and Gazelle. Final pack. Two pretty solid hollows this time. Upstar Goblin, Rising Air Current, Mongo Ryu Ran, yuck. Toon Summon Skull, <gasps> Time Wizard. Wow, a card that I don't really know that I can make much use out of. Uh, I mean, I guess I have the Shining Angels, but I feel like Alex deck kind of does this card a little bit better, but I can toss a coin and call it right. Unlike Alec, though, I don't know that I believe as much in like staking it all on a Time Wizard. The only time I think that's ever happened in a video with me, it, it, it like blew up in my face, so. But I'll take it, it's a super. Gravekeeper Servant, Cannon Soldier, Harpy Lady, and Thousand Dragon. You know, if I'd gotten Cyber Harpy Lady, then I'd be really interested in trying out that Elegant Egotist strategy I was mentioning in earlier videos, but unfortunately, not the case. Still though, three foils, I'm, I'm actually catching up on the pull quality for a change. Time Wizard, Cloning, and Legion, at least two of which will certainly make it into my deck, maybe even three. Let's see. So I have just a, uh, a minor complaint about my, uh, my retro packs. I have opened seven retro pack boxes and I still only have two, count them, two Nimble Mamangas, seven sets of this godforsaken set, two of these things. I just want to be able to use this with like giant rat and get some life points so I can actually like pay them for stuff. I only have two, I have like 10 giant germs. What is, what, what, what is this? Y'all, god damn, what, it, what is that cut? <laughs> It doesn't, from the front, you don't notice it as bad, but from the back, ugh. <laughs> Guys, same card, same bad cut. It's not good, but at least they're consistent? Yeah, print quality got a lot worse in the last few years. <laughs> Woo! All right, welcome to the episode of Retro Rivals. Thanks. Retro Rivals, where I take back the crown and beat Paul. Well, you did that last episode, I mean. And I'm gonna do it again. All right, we're gonna roll some dice before our neighbors get mad. Four. That's a four. That oh, looks like I might be winning this one. One, 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 okay. Nine, I'm taking the first move, Fine. duelist. Hope you've made some modifications to your deck, because I, I certainly have. A certain set of monsters won't be in my deck this time. You're running all five pieces of so what do you, you say? Right, yeah. All right, I draw five cards and draw one for turn. I'm going to start by activating my Thunder Dragon. Okay. Gotta discard that. He always starts with those Thunder Dragons. It feels always. like they always show up. Two of them in my hand. That's not all duels. I'm going to normal summon my Maha Vela and we'll set two cards face down and end my turn. Then I will draw. Activate Giant True Nade. Oh, wow. Pick him up. What do you have this early in the game? I have send you the thousand hands who will let me search out a ritual monster. I'm gonna ask that. Okay, <laughs> do it, do it, cheat. <laughs> I found, one, found a way to get one in my deck. <laughs> I'll add relinquished to my hand. Black Illusion Ritual. Let's tribute this copycat out of my hand to summon relinquished. Well, hello. And relinquished. Early seeing you here. He's gonna use his effect to take that Maha Vilo. 1550 attack. That's right. Enjoy. And I'm going to send both my monsters at you directly. That's 14 and 1550. I'll set a card face down, I'll end my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. How about let's hit you with this as well? My giant Shrunade. Ooh. To return all your spells and traps to the hand. You know what that means. I do. I'm gonna activate Magic Jammer. Oh? Pitch to negate the giant Shrunade. Normal summon, La Jin, the mystical genie of the land. Roll attack, send you. I'll take 400. Set two cards face down, and end my turn. Draw. Relinquish will attack your La Jin. Got it, so. You're going to take the damage. I think we both actually oh, yeah, take it. Both, it. That was an error we That's made right. in like an earlier episode, but. We both take the damage. And, but instead of my Relinquish being destroyed, my Havilo's destroyed. Yeah. I'll go to main phase two and activate Relinquish's effect to take control of La Jin. Yeah, I knew this was coming. Now I'm even bigger! I'll end my turn. I draw. Upstart Goblin. I'll take a thousand. I mean, I'll gain a thousand. We're gonna set a card face down in our turn. Then I'll draw. Let's normal summon the Sonic Bird and activate its effect. 
judgment. Let's use solemn judgment. Ooh. I, I'm negating that. I know it's risky, but I just can't have you, I can't risk you summoning another relinquish <laughs> right now. I'll enter battle. Battle enter. Relinquish stacks face down. You hit my wall of illusion. <sighs> You'll take 50 damage, which is really pennies at this point, but your relinquish will be returned to Won't your hand. Won't we both take that damage? Oh, that's true, yeah, that's true. And Lajin goes to the grave. Oh, relinquish is back in my hand. Now I see why you want to get yeah, rid of Yeah, I had to get rid of that Sonic Bird. I had ulterior <laughs> motives. Oh, I cannot right. have you summoning another relinquish right now, and then like taking this, and then just like <laughs> everything is ruined. I gotta pass. I gotta draw. We'll normal summon the Jirai Gumo. All right, that's a big monster. And we're gonna go ahead and enter the battle phase. I, I understand, <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I gotta call some coin. If I call it right, I'll lose, or if you call, or if it, call it, wrong. it wrong, I'll lose half my life points. Call I'm gonna it. attack and call heads. All heads, right. yes, 2200. I gotta take it. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. I use this Thunder Dragon in hand. I'll add two Thunder Dragons, and sadly, I gotta pass there. How about I draw? Attack with Jirai Gumo. Gotta its effect it. activates, I'm calling Tails. Ugh, gotta pay half. Half my life points. I'm at 11.75, but you will take 22. Ooh. Set a card face down in my turn. Draw for turn. Set a monster face down, and I'll pass. I draw. We're gonna attack your monster. I mean, technically, you're, you'll pay less this time if you miss, so. Call Tails. All right, Ooh. attack goes through. You hit my Senju. I set a card face down. End my turn. Then I will draw. I'll set a card face down and I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll switch my Wall of Illusion to attack. Inner battle. Yes. Jirai Gumo's gonna attack. I'm calling heads. All right, you heads. got it. You hit my Senju. Now a thousand with Wall of Illusion. Gotta take it. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. I'll activate Polymerization. Oh, not cool. I knew you'd eventually get that. That is fine. I'll send my Thunder Dragons. Oh. I didn't put out my extra deck. And I'll summon Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Now 2800 is enough to swing over Wall of Illusion and win this game. That's terrifying. Why did I do that? Oh my God. <laughs> I totally forgot that. You put it in attack I position. Baited? I got you baited. You put that in attack position. I knew you had Thunder Dragon too. Oh my God, okay. Might as well just go ahead and play the Luminous Spark to increase my attack even further by 500. Enter battle. Battle enter. Turn head under dragon, attacks wall of illusion. I totally got baited. I should not have risked it. <laughs> I should not have risked it. Oh my gosh. I got my third Senju, so I decided to go all in with three of it and Sonic Bird, just to very proactively search my ritual spells and monsters so Relinquish could just be online all game, every game. And for no if for no other reason, these are deck thinning bodies. I love these cards. Evolution put in so much work in these duels. I really do like this card. It's unassuming because like Alec probably thinks I'm setting something else. I've got a bunch of different like monsters that it could be like a Mystic Tomato or a Sanginer Giant but 1850 defense walls out even La Jin. So this thing is amazing. And it even gets rid of fusion monsters like Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon now that Alec is using that against me too. Cause like they attack it once and they lose a monster and they attack it again and they gotta lose that. Unfortunately in this game, it left my field in some other ways, but still pretty good. All right, Duelist, that was your freebie for the episode. I'll take it, we, we take those guys. I'll take the first move. I draw my sixth card. Let's start with Graceful Charity. I'm gonna draw three cards and discard two. This Mystic Tomato and Thunder Dragon. Whoa! Yeah, maybe you'll find out why uh, later. We're gonna set a card face down, set two, and pass it back to you. And I will draw. I'll start by normal summoning my Senju to search for a ritual monster. I'll use my Solemn Judgment. Paying half. I'm gonna pay half my Ooh. life points. Set a card face down, now in my turn. I draw on Duelist. I'm going to use my Mystical Space Typhoon in your face down card. I'm gonna chain it. It's scapegoat. Ah, ooh. I get four sheep tokens, which I don't have any tokens near me, so. <laughs> Gotta love chainable cards. Flip it up, Mystical Tomato. That'll go with a token. Goodbye, token. And take it away, Duelist. Draw for turn. Normal summon Sonic Bird. Searching for a ritual spell. The Black Illusion Ritual. Next, we're gonna activate the Graceful Charity. I'm gonna draw three cards, gotta throw two to the grave. I feel like these are the ones to drop. We're gonna lose out on Time Wizard and Luminous Spark. 
Sonic Bird's gonna attack your Mystic Tomato. That's a surprise. I'm surprised you just wanted to attack my Mystic Tomato like that. I'd rather get rid of it myself than let you choose to do it at, the, at a time when you want to. I'll get Sand Gun. Main phase two, I'm gonna set two cards phase down, and I'll end my turn. I'm gonna draw a card. Let's normal summon Mahavela. Let's attack a token. Let's attack another. Goodbye, token. Your move, duelist. Down to one token. Let's normal summon La Jin. Oh, he's a spooker. How about I use my cloning? So, since you normal summon a monster, I can summon a clone token with the same level type, attribute, attack, and defense. Oh, that's pretty good. Monster. That's pretty good. So, we're gonna get a Yajin token. Mm. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna actually use this trap as the okay, easy that's visual. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll go to battle and have my Lajin attack your Mahavila. And I gotta end there. I draw. Upstar Goblin. I'll gain a Give you a life point boost to draw a card. I'll attack your token with my Sangen. And we're going to attack Lajin with the cloning token. Set a card face down. Your move boost. Draw for turn. I'll set two cards and I'll pass. A lot of back row. Draw. Not a lot of monsters. Normal summon the Maha Velo. I like the trap hole. Thousand with Sangen. Gotta take it. You're back at 8,000. Your move Here boost. we are again. Draw for turn. Normal summon Shining Angel. Shining Angel attacks your Sangin. Sangin's destroyed, but I will get to use its effect. I'll get Wall of Illusion. I'll pass here. I draw. Let's use the Graceful Charity. I'll draw three cards. Discard my Summon Skull and this Thunder Dragon. I'm gonna set one and pass. All right, then I'll draw. Shining Angel attack your face down. It's the Giant Germ. Oh. You'll take 500 damage, and I'll get to summon up to two more Giant Germs from my deck. I'll go to main phase two and set a monster phase down. I'll end my turn. Draw. I'll tribute my two giant germs for this. A series first. Wow. My blue eyes, white drag. I'll activate Solemn Judgment by paying half. <sighs> yeah, ouch, that hurts. I activate Raigeki. Got my shining angels. Ooh, hit two of them things. Okay. And that's gonna end my turn. Draw. I will discard Thunder Dragon. We're gonna add two Thunder Dragons. We're gonna play the polymerization, fusing my Thunder Dragons to make Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, attack him directly. I'll pass. I draw. Mystical Space Typhoon on this face down card. I'll chain it, exchange it to Spirit. Oh! So I do in fact have 15 or more cards in my grave. I should have just passed that. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 exact. Okay, so our decks go to the graveyard. Yes. We swap our graveyard with our decks. Wow. Oh my god, I gotta so look at So any card not played is, out, is, is essentially out the game. So what's my new graveyard? Oh yeah, let me see what's in there. Show that to everybody. I mean, I got some, there's some cards in here. A lot of spells and traps, really. <gasps> oh no! What? What? I don't know what you're thinking. That again? Oh, this is the, oh, that's kind of bad. That means it's in your hand. <laughs> the most powerful spell in this format. There's a few powerful spells in this format. The, but the most powerful spell in the format. I'll set a monster face down in my turn. Draw for time. I will discard Thunder Dragon. Are you like able to do this again? What? I sent Please all don't my tell Thunder me. Dragons to grave. The Chain of the Spirit is insane. It is insane. It's, just, it's such a like, like, And I, I really don't know. I, I think I might put myself in a very strange position. I'm going to set a card face down and pass. I'll draw. Raigeki. Raigeki. You had two? It got used first and then it got shuffled back in. And you drew it again? Yeah. That fast? God yes, thank me. goodness. It's like you and Thunder Dragon, you just got to use it again. Normal summon La Jin, the mystical genie of the land. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I'll regret this or not, but Wall of Illusion flip summon. Wall of Illusion's gonna attack 1800 with La Jin. All right, game three. Okay, <laughs> I was terrified. I was like, I don't know what you got. That, no, I have to work uh, for that one. Yeah, I think that 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 exchange of spirit actually messed me up really badly. <laughs> I finally have the answer to the card in Paul's deck that I've been waiting on. It just hasn't happened quite yet. Exchange of the Spirit. This is a wacky and wonky card that oftentimes you would never use. And you could argue that I shouldn't be, even be using this, but I've been looking for an answer that wasn't a counter trap to Paul's Monster Reborn. And uh, this is it. This, this is actually a Monster Reborn counter. The Monster Reborn will miss its target if you chain this to Monster 
you're born. So it's wonderful. It's just, um, it can go really bad for me if I'm not careful. I think this is actually the first time I got to use Raigeki in this series. This card's nuts. I mean, like it's really strong and powerful. That said, there's like a little bit of nuance with when exactly you choose to use it. Like I have to use it at a time where I still feel like I can actually get some, like, you know, push some board presence myself. And I want to always try to wait until Alec has a lot of monsters in the field, especially like floaters and stuff that won't be able to get their effects, maybe a relinquish or something like that. And it can be a little tricky waiting for the opportune time, but when it hits, it hits. All right, duel's your choice. I'll go first. Draw. You know what I really like, Paul? What do you like? Deck thinning. I'm gonna discard this Thunder Dragon. Yeah, Thunder Dragon somehow became like the best card of the format. If like, you, any like old head Yu-Gi-Oh players, like Thunder Dragon always finds his way. It finds its way into that hand and into that grave and somehow the twin-headed Thunder Dragon at 2800 attack is just- This is a different kind of Yu-Gi-Oh over here. <laughs> making heads roll. Next, I will normal summon my send you with a thousand hands. Search a ritual spell. I ash him. I mean, search ritual monster, I misspoke. Yeah, it's so terrifying, all that search power your deck's got. If I could just have a relinquished, I could do it too. Oh well. But I don't, instead you get two relinquished. Two relinquished, three Senjus, three Sonic Birds. <laughs> yep, search those things. But it's okay, Paul, I'm gonna leave you alone. The set a card face down, I'll pass. Well, thanks, I appreciate that. Let's start with a bit of deck thinning myself. Oh, all right, all right. How many yeah, graceful one, charity? Yeah, one, two. Draw one, two, three. Which cards will I discard though? Mystic Tomato and Megamorph. Normal summon the Mystic Tomato. Whoosh! Send you in the tomato, and tomato's gonna activate its effect. Do Sangin. Attack a thousand with Sangin. Another graceful charity. Wow! Yeah, I actually drew this with the first one. I was like, okay, well, I might as well at least uh, do a little bit of deck thinning before I use the second. Now, what else can go? This time it'll be Amazonist Chain Master and the Giant Trunade. Weird picks, I know. And finally, Thunder Dragon. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. Lots and lots of deck thinning and, and more deck I, thinning. I, I, I did it twice. I thought I was cooking and Paul's like, more deck thinning. <laughs> Let's get these Thunder Dragons in my hand. We'll set two cards face down and in my turn, duelist. Draw for turn. I'll activate Swords of Revealing Light. That kind of duel is it. I got, I'm gonna need these three turns. Okay, well I can't attack. I'll set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. Draw, my first turn under swords. Sangin to defense, your move. Draw, normal summon La Jin. Flip summon Shining Angel. Shining Angel will attack Sangin. Sangin's destroyed, I'm gonna use its effect though. How's Wall of Illusion for ya? It's a nice monster. La Jin attacks directly. All right, I'll pass. I'll draw. Set a card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. La Jin will attack your face down. It is indeed the Wall of Illusion. Deal 50 damage to you and return your La Jin to the hand. Black Illusion Ritual. I'll tribute my Shining Angel for Relinquished. Relinquished is here. And I'm gonna activate Relinquished's effect to take control of your Wall of Illusion. I will set one face down and I'll end my turn. Draw. The last turn that I can't attack you. I'll set one card face down, another face down, and pass. And that's the end of Swords of Revealing Light. Can't Draw in the turn. game. I'm going to flip summon my penguin soldier. Effect targeting itself and your face down. I'll use solemn judgment on the penguin soldier. They have. They have my life points. Negate that flip summon. Let's normal summon La Jin. La Jin will attack your face down. It's the Mahavela. And then relinquish will attack for 1,000. Main phase two, I'll set one card face down. I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Let's use my polymerization card. Ooh. Fusion summon duelist using Go for my it. two thunder dragons. The twin headed thunder dragon. Normal summon, La Jin, the mystical genie of the Ooh. lamp. In attack mode as well. Let's attack this Relinquished. We'll both take 800 damage. And now twin headed thunder dragon is going to attack Relinquished as well. Your move, the duelist. Draw for turn. I will normal summon Copycat. It's effect that activates on summon. I'm going to copy your Thunder Dragon. Not at all appreciative. Let's activate Polymerization. That'll have to be okay too. Send my Thunder Dragons for a twin headed Thunder Dragon. Copycat will attack your La Jin. Twin headed attacks twin headed. And if you can't stop this, La Jin will end this duel. Yeah. Mm, good game. Well played. Well played. Good game.
Lajin finally started to pull his weight. I mean, 1800 attack is nothing to scoff at. And I finally saw it like decently consistent in this game and it really made a big difference. Only sucks that Paul got one too. Okay, so this is cloning the newest addition to my deck this episode. It's a bit of a weird card. It can take a monster's attack and defense, so it kind of feels like copycat in that way. Being a trap makes it like somewhat awkward and it doesn't work on special summons. So like, eh, but I still found pretty good use of it, especially since like a lot of the monsters in my deck normally aren't all that powerful. Like if I don't have La Jin or Jirai Gumo, I can't swing over things. And this is like kind of the next best way to do it. So it'll probably stay. Well played, Duelist. I, I'm, you know, I'm pleased with this. This was not like me. I had to be patient for once in my life. So that means we're tied now. I'm back, y'all. Ah, oh, geez, three and three in games. Here I thought I could pull away and just end this series a little early. Remember okay. guys, all the way. it is first five wins. We've got at least two more episodes to go and if I have it my way that'll be all you get so we'll see you thought you were having it your way yeah I could have brought it a little bit closer this time I ain't licked yet I activate time wizard time roulette ah, I stumbled 